What's up, Packer fans? Coach Hahn here with you in the film room, about to go through one of my favorite things to do as a football coach, and that's scout the opposing team. Specifically, scout some of the ways that they like to align to some of the different formations that we'll show them in a game week. So here we have the game that was played last week, Houston versus Jacksonville. Houston's going to come out on the second play of the game and come into empty. That's five wide, essentially, or a tight end on the line with you know, uh, a couple of receivers off it. Essentially what empty means is there's no running back in the backfield. So usually when offenses do this, defenses have to get into what they call a check or one or two very specific plays that they're going to run when they see this, simply because offenses can get into empty so quickly and empty can cause real problems. Obviously you can have three on one side and two on the other, or even quads look where there'd be four receivers on one side and one on the other. So it can cause some confusion for the defense. So the defense gets right into what's called a check or a specific one or two play pattern that they'll run against empty. Houston obviously knows that this is going to come. So they have a play designed for it in their first couple of plays for the game called the scripted plays and we're going to see this one hit big time now the reason I chose the Houston game is because this guy right here Deshaun Watson and Aaron Rodgers are very very similar okay usually in empty what a lot of aggressive defenses like Jacksonville like to do is bring a lot of pressure early just to see how you're going to handle it so you'll watch Jacksonville on this specific snap bring six they're going to have one unblocked defender and they're going to take up the rest of the offensive linemen there's only five linemen that can block and they're locked into man protection. So Jacksonville is going to bring six and try to get on Watson really, really quickly. Okay. However, Watson has a very high football IQ, just like Aaron Rodgers. He's very athletic and he can get the ball out very, very quickly. So because of that, I decided let's take a look at this film and let's see what happens on this play. Jacksonville brings six, ball out quick. A little out route's always going to beat man to coverage. And here we go. Brandon Cooks, he's off to the races. 57 yards. That's the second play of the game. That tells me this baby was most certainly scripted. They were ready to go. But the real magic happens here. This is so cool. This old school football, I love it. Watch the offensive line. They know right away that there's going to be six men coming and there's nothing they can do, okay? They're going to be outmanned. So what do they do? Watch the left side of the offensive line when this play rolls. It is awesome. You know you're going to have dudes in the throwing lane? Cut them like a tree right there. Ha! <laughs> love that stuff. Cut these guys down at the line of scrimmage. That means the center can pass this dude off knowing that this ball's got to get out quick to an outbreaking route that's going to beat man coverage. And Joe Schobert right here, the inside backer blitzing, he's going to get picked up just enough to get that thing to go. Now, obviously, if you're bringing six men or six man pressure, that means you only have five in the secondary. That's five on five or straight man with no safety help. So you pick up one block to an athlete and you're off to the races. Brandon Cook's going to show you here that it's all over now, which is awesome. However, there can be some problems with empty. Um, one of the problems is that ball's got to get out quick. We talked about that already. So if there's any sort of stutter or hesitation, it's going to be a bad day for the offense because Jacksonville specifically is going to like to bring pressure. They're going to bring four here initially and bring Schobert right here, that inside backer, and just a little bit of a delayed or what we call a cafe blitz where he's going to be standing here like it's spy and then he's going to go insert. So if the Texans can get this ball off really, really quickly to the outside, it's going to go a long, long way. However, if there's any sort of stutter down here by these receivers, or if they can't get off a man jam and Watson has to hold the ball, he's going to be under attack. So right here, you see the little stutter by the receiver coming in. Just wasn't enough. Schobert's already collapsing in on him, and Watson's in trouble and going down for the sack. That's one of the problems that can happen against empty. So if the Green Bay Packers do decide to go a lot of empty against Jacksonville, knowing what their checks are going to be, that ball's going to get out quick. Those receivers have to gain separation immediately. Otherwise, Rodgers could be in trouble in the pocket. So Again, I'm excited for this game. I can't wait to see how Jacksonville plays against empty. I'm really thinking that Green Bay has a lot of advantages if they go to a lot of empty sets against some of these struggling defenders in the secondary for Jacksonville. As long as the offensive line can pick some of that up and these receivers can get some separation and Rodgers can get that ball out quickly, expect a lot of points to be scored off of empty. Houston did this a lot. They ran empty 11 times in this game. In those 11 plays... Watson was 5 of 8 for 98 yards and a touchdown. He had three incomplete passes. Um, two of them, I would contend, were probably drops. He was also flushed out of the pocket and scrambled. And one of the things about empty when you bring in a lot of pressure is 
if you can get out of the pocket, you can go for a little ways. So he had some pretty decent rushing yards in this game. And then the one lone relatively negative play was this sack where he had to eat it when the receiver stuttered a bit too much. So just some of the things I'm really looking forward to when Green Bay plays Jacksonville. Um, again, my name is Coach Hawn in the film room on behalf of Packernet.com. If you like what you're seeing, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. Let me know as well, and I'll do my best to accommodate you. Until next time.